Preliminary disclosures are always required by both parties, even in default with written agreement cases. So default with written agreement, you know, I talk about that a lot. It just means you're not filing a response. That way you don't have to pay the secondary court fee. But the where people are going wrong with their when they're trying to do their own divorce and they turn in their judgment package, they're not having the respondent or the respondent's not doing their preliminary declaration of disclosure. This is the 142 and 150. And then you file the 141 indicating that you have done that. They're assuming because the response wasn't filed that the disclosure is not required. And that's not correct. You don't need to respond, but you still need to do your set of disclosures. And that'll cause your judgment to get rejected. If you turn in a settlement agreement, default with written agreement, and no uh, preliminary declaration of disclosure form for the respondent. So just keep that in mind. We're getting, seeing a lot of people when I look, when they call for a consultation to help me take over their case, that's one of them, not the only reason, but one of the reasons why their judgment's being rejected.